Hey, what's up guys? Mike at Red Fox here. In this video, we're gonna talk about server power supplies. All right, maybe you're an uh, advanced miner and you've been using server power supplies for a while. This video might not be for you, but who this video is for is anybody that doesn't have a server power supply yet in their mining rigs. Maybe he's been intimidated by them like I was when I first started mining. And what I'd like to do in this video is make them less scary, make them really accessible for you. Talk about the pros and cons of a server power supply versus an ATX power supply. And why personally, based on my experience, I think it's a really smart decision to add these into your rigs. You can see I'm running quite a few of them there. I have more in the garage running and they've just been wonderful for me. Uh, I just got another one in, so I figure I'm gonna unbox this. And what we'll do is talk about specs and we'll do like a comparison of a server power supply versus a comparable ATX power supply. And maybe at the end of this video, you can walk away with some knowledge around why server power supplies might be the way to go for you. They certainly have been for me and they've been absolutely excellent since I've put them in my miner rigs many years ago. So I'm gonna open this one up. I'll talk to you about where I got it from and the specs of it and we'll go from there. So hang tight one second. Let's take a look. So in here, we got a few things. I'm gonna talk about what they are to make this all less scary for you if you're considering server power supplies. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. So in here is gonna be the power supply itself. If I can get it open. Man, I really gotta stop doing all this one-handed. I'm sorry, this is just embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, hold up, hold up. Man, what am I doing? Okay, there it is. HP server power supply, right? Got it. These are all PCIe cables to go with this then in here is what you need to make it all talk to each other so in here this is called a breakout board Ooh, I'm doing good with this one one-handed look at this I'm starting to get skilled at this all right all right get out of here okay so server power supply HP branded and this is the breakout board which connects there which then allows you to plug all these in. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Where I got this from is called, a website called Parallel Miner. I've been ordering from them for many years. I got all my per power, <laughs> whoa, I got all my server power supplies from them. And um, they've just been absolutely fantastic. This specific one is a HP server power supply. And then they have different variations of breakout boards available. And then you can choose how many cables you might want from them. I'm not sponsored, affiliated with them in any way. Guys, it's just, I've just been using them for years, and, and they've been great. And their prices are super reasonable, so whatever. That's where I got it from, Parallel Miner. I'll leave a link in the description. You can see, in comparison, I have an ATX power supply here. And this is a server power supply. In case you're wondering size for any reason, that's how they size up to each other. So the specific one I got is probably one of the more popular ones for miners. This is an HP power supply, uh, server power supply, like I said, but it's uh, a 900 watt. If you run it on a standard 120 volt outlet, which is like your standard house outlet, but it becomes a 1200 watt if you run it off 240. So maybe you live in other parts of the world where 240 is standard, or you've had an upgraded uh, electrical circuit ran in your house this will then do 1200 watts. 
So either 900 or 1200. For our discussion today, we're gonna to stick to that 900 because that's probably what most people have if they're just getting started mining. Okay, so let's do a comparison maybe of what this is versus a ATX power supply. I don't have one exactly on hand that matches, uh, but I'm gonna put some specs on the screen here to help you really visualize why this might be a really good decision for you. So again, this is the HP power supply. We're gonna call it 900 watts for the sake of this video. Its efficiency is gonna be platinum. I mean, this one right here is only gold, as you can see there. Get out of here, gold. So this is gonna be platinum, which is better, which means more efficient, less uh, power wasted, especially as it's gonna be running 24 seven with our mining rigs. So we got 900 watts, it's gonna be running platinum. And the price of all of this that you see before you here is $54 as of the making of this video, and that's US. 900 watts, platinum power supply, and it only costs $54. What's different? Let's compare this to my ATX power supply that I have right here, and then we'll compare it to a um, comparable one that meets many of the specs. So what's different, right? All you see here is PCIe spot slots here, and then there's a Molex uh, connection as well, but Typically what you would use this for is connecting and powering all your server, uh, all your GPUs. Whereas an ATX power supply you guys are obviously familiar with, you can power a whole PC, a whole mining rig just off this. There are adapters that let you do this with a server power supply, but in general, what I've seen and what I've done is that most miners will do a uh, both. So you'll have a ATX power supply, and a server power supply running in the same rig. I'm going to experiment with the adapter soon and I'll let you know how it goes. But what I've seen a lot of people do is they'll get like a cheap, maybe bronze rated, lower wattage ATX power supply to run just their motherboard and its components. And then they'll use a server power supply to power all their GPUs and the risers. What I've done is what a lot of people do as well is they kind of split the load here. So I'll have a ATX power supply running here and there, and I'll have a, the motherboard and everything running off that, and maybe a, you know, a pair of GPUs and their risers, and then I'll have all the others, as you can see with these yellow cables here, running off of the server power supply. That's just a few different ways that you can do it. You can run it a split, you can run just the motherboard and its components off this, server, server power supplies doing all the GPUs and risers, or you can get an adapter to run an entire rig, motherboard and everything off of a server power supply. But I, I haven't done that yet. If you have, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment in the description below. Let me know your experience. It's something that I've known is it existed, existed existed for a while, but I just I just haven't done it. So I'm very curious about it. Okay, so again, just to recap, 900 watts, platinum, 54 bucks. Comparable, ATX power supply. I'm gonna go with EVGA, because they're just, you know, greatest of all time for power supplies, in my opinion. There's no 900 watt, they sell a 850 watt, so we're gonna utilize that. That's platinum. So, losing 50, 50, 50, uh, losing 50 watts on that, but it's gonna run same, platinum, 94% efficiency. Let's talk about cost, $54. The EVGA comparable power supply is $219, right? So you can buy four of those for one of those. Thirty day warranty. Ten year warranty. Pro. Big pro on this one. None of my server power supplies have gone bad. Um, I've had them two and a half, maybe three years now. 
But you got to remember something, right? Like these are designed for a PC. You know, it's on 24 seven, but maybe it's on like standby sometimes. These are designed to be on and to be installed in a server like that one and run 24 seven, never shutting down at all. So they got to be really efficient and they got to be really, really reliable. And that's exactly the experience that I've had with the ones that I have in those rigs there. So what's best for you is completely up to you. If you're worried about break even, these are absolutely the way to go. If you're worried about efficiency, server power supplies are absolutely the way to go. If you're worried about a warranty, ATX power supplies are the way to go. If you're still intimidated by the concept of this, ATX power supplies may be the way to go. But guys, I really wanna make this as simple as possible. This plugs into there, plugs into there, plugs into your GPUs, and you're done. That's it. So anyway, hope this was helpful to you in any small way. Like the video if it was, or if it wasn't, please like the video too. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. That's what I do here. And go buy yourself some server power supplies. I'll leave links to everything in the description below. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. See you in the next one. <laughs>